A key thing to know when planning your gas fire pit install is whether you're using propane or natural gas. So typically natural gas is either you know, a city limit or a suburb and gas is delivered underground through pipes to the entire neighborhood. Propane on the other hand might be more rural and it's gonna be a large either above ground or buried tank. So the two types of gas, natural gas and propane, they're gonna act a little bit differently and you have to take different measures when you're installing to make sure that it's gonna perform correctly because we want nice, tall, bright, uh, yellow, orange flames. The key thing with propane is we need to mix in oxygen with that propane so it burns efficiently. Otherwise, you're gonna get an orange flame, a very sooty, dirty flame. Uh, natural gas, on the other hand, is think of it as a little bit of a lighter gas, kind of not, not quite as dense, and we don't need as much oxygen for it to burn efficiently, so we don't have to take measures to mix in air like we do with propane. So in front of me here is a pretty standard gas fire pit kit. You have the burner, the pater plate or pan, the flux line, and the key valve. And where it's gonna make a difference if you're using natural gas or propane is where this flux line connects to the burner. So in front of me here is what you would have for a propane setup. Um, every kit's not gonna be exactly the same, but it's the same concept. So this right here is a propane air mixer or orifice. So you'll notice it has little holes drilled all the way around here. That's gonna pull in oxygen as the gas travels through it. So you're actually mixing in oxygen before the gas ignites and burns. So that's gonna give you a clean, tall, uh, orange, yellow flame. Oftentimes with these air mixers, you don't want them plugged directly into the burner. It would fit right into the burner, but you actually want a little bit of a distance in between them. So there's some separation there um, from the heat and the gas to where you're pulling in oxygen. Natural gas, on the other hand, is gonna go straight into the burner with this fitting here. So we don't need that gap and we don't need to mix in air before because the amount of air it gets just in the fire pit opening is gonna suffice for it to burn cleanly. So that setup would look more like this. We do have kits that will work with a small portable propane tank as well. Um, there'll be some restrictions there. So we'll talk about that in another video.